to be an insult for you to join those who don't even have a good pastor to be shouting what God does not do does not exist. So you follow God, be kind with your words. I want you to pay serious attention to this video that you want to watch now. It's a video about Dr. Ebedamina and Pastor Jerry Eze. Dr. Ebedamina has said that that statement, that mantra, what God cannot do, does not exist. It's wrong. I will not waste your time. I will just like watch the video, listen to what Dr. Ebedamina have to say. And please, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Then after that, I need you to be patient and also listen to the ref response from Pastor Jerry Eze concerning this matter. The response he has given to uh, Dr. Eber Damina. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you will be notified. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. Don't just speak because it, 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 sounds, it sounds popular. What God cannot do does not exist. God cannot lie and lie exists. God cannot steal and stealing exists. God cannot die and death exists. Don't just, don't copy cliches. Follow doctrine. Don't follow cliches by motivational speakers. Follow sound teaching so you can have a sound life. My steps are ordered. My going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. My life is intentional. I do not live accidentally. No, my life is calculated with precision. So the outcome of my life is exact. I know exactly what I will be like in the next five years. My life is not an accident. My life is predestined and predesigned by God. And I live a life that is purposeful, a life that is accurate within the confines of God's plan, God's purpose, and God's assignment for my life. I am not an accident going somewhere to happen. I am a well predestined, well ordained life going somewhere to fulfill God's ultimate plan. You speak words that the Holy Ghost will walk with. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's just try. No! We don't just try. We don't just try. If you don't know, stop and keep saying I know what to do until you know what to do. <laughs> Praise God. I say praise God. You are not responding with a doubt in your mind. You are speaking the integrity of God's word. Because you walk in the light as is in the light. You do not walk in darkness. You have put the word of God ahead of your experiences. Say with me very loud. No fear here. No anxiety here. No panic here. I didn't hear a good amen. I'm teaching good tonight. And now they come up with what God does not do does not exist. Which now establishes that God is responsible for everything. He kills, he makes a life, he destroys, he does everything. I'm sure you have heard what Dr. Ibedamina have said, but I need you to wait and listen to what Pastor Jerry Eze have to say. His response to what Dr. Ibedamina have said. Watch this video. I just make I just address the small one where somebody they talk uh, say uh, uh, there are things we God no fit do. You say what God cannot do, they are not, uh, God cannot lie. God can. The Bible say I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Mm -hmm. I go smoke Ibo. No. I go go sleep with somebody who will not be my wife. Mm -hmm. But the Bible but say, say I can, I can do, do all. The problem say they know they understand context. Mm -hmm. So what will they talk say? What God cannot do, everything that is in the nature of, of God, God, that what He cannot do does not exist. To whom brain is given, sense yes, is expected. I'm sure you have heard the response from uh, Pastor Jerry Eze. That is actually the first response. I need you to also watch this, the second response, what he had to say again concerning that statement. Watch the video. I do not understand <laughs> that people understand how yes, others sir. hurt. Yes, so people of God, be kind with your words. Yes, people are hurting. People yes, are going through so many things. The way you see people show up and they have all their makeup all done and you think, I can say anything I like to people. Mm it might seem like life is fair to them but however you never can tell the secret tears yes, that people shared be yes, more kind with your word i'm sure you have watched the video and i'm sure you have learned something from everything the both of them have said this is what i need to say we need to start praying for our pastors and our leaders in church you see it baffles me and it makes me ashamed as a believer, as a Christian, when I see two pastors, two men of God quarreling and fighting over what they can easily talk over on phone. 
the, it, it really annoys me. I believe that if Dr. Ebedamina thinks that uh, what Pastor Jerry Eze is saying or is doing is not right, the first thing you have to do before coming out public is to pick up your phone and call the guy and call the pastor and call your brother. Pastor Jerry Eze is, in fact, in Christ we are one. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So it is safe to say that Pastor Jerry Eze is a brother to Dr. Ebed Amina. We are all one before Christ. We are all one in Christ. So it is important that if you see your brother or your sister doing something that you feel is wrong or saying something that you feel is not right, it is safe for you to call them and say, ah, my brother, okay, this thing you said, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like, it. maybe that person may have a higher a revelation or something to share with you pertaining that thing. Maybe there is a revelation, a deep revelation behind it that you yourself, you are not seeing. I keep saying this thing that you cannot know everything. Even as I'm here talking, I can never know everything. I cannot. Sometimes I put out a video and I will see people correcting me in the comment section. I learn that. I take it and I, and I move on with it because I know that even though I make mistake here right now, maybe I want to put uh, something and I get it wrong or I want to give a date and I get it wrong. I want to reference something and I get it wrong. Yes, I'm a human being. I, I can make mistake. I am prone to mistake also. We all make mistake. So when I see some comments in the comment section, oh, this one is not like this, and I go and verify. And if it's true, why not? I learn and I grow with it because you cannot, you cannot know everything. You cannot know everything. So I don't, from personally, I don't think that for Doctor Ibem, uh, that I don't think that Doctor Ibedamina Ibe should have come out to okay to correct him publicly at least or confront him, or call him, and then you people should talk about it. Maybe. Uh, a sh um, debate and, and discuss that uh, uh, mantra or that statement. Uh, that just as uh, Pastor Jerez have uh, tried to explain, there is a reason behind that. There is a revelation behind that. So we need to understand all these things. It's just like um, uh, Sinachi's song, um, We Make a Miracle Work and all the rest. When Pastor Chris and uh, some other pastors came out that uh, that song is not by Blicker. I'm going to be bringing that video for you anyway, so you see it. They say that the song is not by Blicker. All these things are things you talk about. When they interviewed Sinat, she explained the reason and the revelation behind that song. So these are the things we are talking about. Well, a lot of people have a revelation behind whatever it is they do. I am not saying that they are always right. Some people are, are genuinely uh, uh, practicing error or are saying error. So most people, and what they do, in fact, is full of error. So that, that is it. But if you feel your brother is doing something wrong, there is no point coming out. Confront them first. If they, they know, they, they are convinced that what they are doing is wrong and they refuse to at least retrace their step. That is when you cannot at least, for the sake of the public, because I believe that the public need to know truth. If I'm telling you, if I'm telling my congregation that one plus one is five, one plus one is five, one plus one is five, they get to know that one plus five, one plus one is five. But if somebody with the right knowledge comes and says, Oh, my brother, this one plus one is not five, or one plus one is two, one plus one is two, it is not left for me to go and uh, reteach those uh, my congregation so that they will know that one plus one is two. But if I refuse to learn, if I refuse to unlearn, relearn, and go and teach my congregation, that my brother, that my sister, that my friend is free to come out and say that this thing I am teaching is an error, that this thing is not supposed to be like this. That is the way I see it. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Please don't forget to share the video on social media platform, share with your friends and loved ones. And do me a favor, like the video right now and drop a comment. By doing this, it triggers YouTube and going to continue to recommend the video to more people. God bless you as you do so i will see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you your will is being written i am what i am by the grace of god as long as that grace does not fail satan will never fail. this revival you see will not be aborted